Hello, welcome to the video on an Introduction to Absolute Value. And um, I suspect that most of you have already seen Absolute Value before in the past. And that's a good start for uh, this lesson. We'll quickly review probably some of the things that we've already seen. But um, as I have here in the objectives, the first thing I want to do is make sure you understand the definition of Absolute Value. So I'm going to stress that in this video. And then we'll go ahead and practice evaluating Absolute Value expressions. Okay, so this is going to be a short video, by the way. So what is absolute value? Well, most of you have probably seen something like this before in the past. Okay, well, I said, well, okay, what does this mean, okay, in this particular mathematical expression? Well, these bars around this number here, and this is negative 3, are asking you, what is the absolute value of negative 3? So when you see bars, vertical bars around an expression or a number, that's indicating absolute value, okay? And it's asking you, what is the absolute value negative 3? Most of you probably know it's positive 3, okay? And I recall a lot of students, when I asked them, hey, what does absolute value mean? They would, they would state, well, it means that when you take the absolute value of a negative number, it's always positive. And that's correct. That's true. However, that's not the true essence of the definition of absolute value, okay? And this is where I want to make sure you understand. Absolute value is measuring the distance a number is from zero. So let's go ahead. I'm going to plot negative 3 on the number line. Okay. So if I asked you, let's suppose this was hanging up on a wall or someplace. And I said, okay, take a tape measure and tell me how far zero is from negative 3. Okay. And you went and you took a tape measure and you measured it, you would come back and you would tell me, and I said, well, I want the units in terms of whatever the units are, whatever the integer values are on the number line. You would say, well, it's three units away from zero. Maybe it's three feet or three inches. Whatever the case is, it's a, some sort of positive number. It's an actual number. Okay, distance is something that we can see, okay, or, or at least have a good sense of. So we're not gonna, we never measure distance with respect to a negative number. All right. When we talk about like integers, like maybe there's a negative distance means below ground, but really the concept of displacement or distance is, is thought of in terms of a positive number. Okay, so negative three is three units away from zero. Okay, now what other number is three units away from zero? Well, one, two, three. And that's a kind of a hopefully a no brainer. All right. You see, three and negative three are the same distance away from zero. They're both three units away. So if I asked you, okay, the absolute value of negative three is three, and I said, okay, what about this? What's the absolute value of positive three? And you would come back with the same answer, three. So what you're saying is, hey, negative three and three have the same distance away from zero. So the definition of absolute value the main concept that I want you to walk away from and keep with you is that absolute value is a number's distance away from zero. Okay? All right, and this is going to play an important role when we look at absolute value inequalities and uh, graphs and equations. All right, so let's move on. Let's just make sure you know how to evaluate absolute value expressions. So here I have some expressions here. And uh, maybe you want to pause the video and just practice uh, these particular expressions. Make sure you can do the 